I'm going to build an radio controllable tractor or tank again. I did this one year ago. It was fine because it worked, but my next one will be great. This is a big project and this video I'm going to build probably the most important part of this tractor. Tracks and driving mechanism. This thing will move the tractor. You can take this video as ordinary project video or if you want to build this by yourself, you can take this video as a tutorial. 3D files of this model are completely free to download, link down below. So let's get right into it. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. I start with tracks. One track link looks like this. Designing this I wanted to achieve three main things. It's easy to print, easy to build or assemble and of course it has to work. And I met all those requirements. One year ago I built an RC tank and those tracks were a huge mess. I had to use supers to print, it was not easy to assemble and it worked but wasn't reliable. Little spoiler, those tracks will work perfectly. But how to connect those inner links that are those green parts together? For that I need those small grey parts that are outer links and to connect two inner links together I also need two outer links and four m 3 times 40 mm bolts. For this project I need 46 inner links for fully finished track, if I calculated this correctly. Assembling this track together is really easy, just screw everything together. This process is time consuming and a bit annoying, but it's way easier than my previous tank track. Two things to keep in mind, this bolt has to be screwed in as much as possible, but outer link have to spin freely. And the outer link flat side has to face outside of the track, and the round side has to face inside. By the way this direction is really important. This is how it should look and work, but this is only one link. The whole track should look like this. If you wanna build this track by yourself, but you don't have 3D printer, PCBWay have solution for you. PCBWay is known for making PCBs, but they also have amazing 3D printing, CNC, sheet metal fabrication and injection molding service. Ordering from PCBWay is easy as it can be. Upload your 3D model, select the material, color and if needed leave a note. I have ordered from PCBWay multiple times and the parts are always amazing. So if you don't have right tools, machines or skills, PCBWay is your one stop solution. Back to the video. So the chain is ready, next I'm going to build this middle section. When this is ready I can assemble the whole thing. For this we need obviously all 3D printed parts. Those are printed with ABS but any other material works just fine. Then we need 4 bearings. Two 8mm threaded rods, 8mm lock nuts and 8 8mm washers. By the way, if your threaded rod threads are damaged after cutting and the nut doesn't want to screw on, the best way to fix this is to take an 8mm die and turn this just a little bit. It should snap on to the already existing threads, after 1-3 to three turns the die should move completely freely and the threads are fixed. Back to the assembly, I'm going to start by installing bearings to the roller wheels. The best way to do this is using wise and press fitting those in place, but the hammer is also an option. And when this is done, it's finally time to put everything together. First push an 8mm threaded rod through the roller wheels. And washer for both sides. 3D printed sides, one washer and lock nut. Tight this up but not too hard otherwise the rollers won't spin freely and it's done. I repeated the same process to the other one and it's working exactly as I expected. So the middle section and tracks are ready, now it's time to assemble the whole thing. It all starts with those big side pieces. Those I 3D printed with my Creality CR10 V3. Print settings that I used you see on the screen. By the way, if you don't have so big printer as cr 10 r you can print those pieces even with Ender 3 size printer, but then you have to print those upright. It's not recommended printing direction, but it's possible and most likely it will not break. And for material I used Arion PLA filament. It's quality filament and the price is really nice. Plus they have a huge color options. 
Highly recommend to check their shop next time when you are searching for PLA filament. Link below. Next we need two sprocket wheels that are printed in two pieces and a driver sprocket that is also printed in two pieces and two of those 3D printed cylindrical things. Sprockets I printed with ABS. I choose ABS because I wanted to get rid of my almost empty spools. I painted the sprockets. By the way, if you ever paint any 3D printed parts, always use plastic primer. Then the paint sticks to the part so well and you can use basically any type of paint that you want. I printed those sprockets in two pieces because I didn't want to use any support material. Because it's wasting material and one side of the sprocket would have an ugly surface finish. Now when sprockets are nicely painted, we can assemble those. This is an 8mm bearing with a 16mm outer diameter. This time I'm using a bit smaller one because of those bolts. I had not enough room to fit these bigger ones that I used before. You can press fit those or use just a hammer. Now it's time to screw two parts of the sprockets together. It's not possible to mess this up because one hole is a bit off than others. I repeated the exactly same process with other sprockets. Now finally we literally assemble everything together. Those side pieces, again two bearings. Those two pieces will hold those two sides together. Right now I'm using M3 bolts and I attach those to only one side because otherwise I would make the whole assembly way harder for myself. Next we need again 8mm threaded rod. I already screwed one M8 lock nut to the one end. Then add one washer, push this through the hole, then again do washers, sprocket wheel, again do washers, and then the other 3D printed side. Well actually I repeat this to the other sprocket too and then comes the other side. Here I did a little mistake. This sprocket can move back and forward because I wanted to have ability to tighten the chain. But it's not gonna work. Because if I tighten this too hard, the sprocket will not move freely. But if not, then the sprocket is at the maximum loose position. I fixed this by printing this type of spacer. I hammered those in and the sprocket cannot move backwards anymore. By the way, if you are going to download this model, then this problem is fixed and there is just a hole. Installing driver sprocket. Basically one 8mm rod goes through everything. And then I drill 4mm hole and lock this driver shaft to the driver sprocket with one M4 bolt. Last thing is to add the tracks and then this is basically ready. Testing this first time on my table, two things surprised me. It worked like a charm, really. I cannot wish better result. And second, it's so quiet. It making barely any noise. This is something that I didn't expect. Actually, I said it's basically done. There are two small things to do more. First, this aluminium pipe moves completely freely right now. That's why I have to drill two 4mm holes through that 20mm aluminium pipe. I drilled a 3mm pilot hole to not damage 3D printed hole. And then I drilled a 3mm hole to 4mm hole. And the second thing is to add middle section. This is really easy. I just had to push this aluminium pipe through everything. And now the last M4 bolt to lock this aluminium pipe to the place and it's done. It's time to go test this outside.
Okay, to then, what do I have to say? I didn't expect it will work so well. This is not a perfect way to test this, but I don't have any other option right now. Like I told you at the beginning of the video, I will use this to build an RC tractor or tank or however to call this. It will take a bit time, but when it's ready, I believe it will be one of the or the coolest things that I have ever 3D printed. If you don't want to miss this, make sure you have pushed the subscribe button and notification bell. If you like this video, share this with your friends and family and thank you for watching. See you guys in the next project video really soon. Bye.